together. In the summer we played baseball. And I remember one game, no pitcher was uh, as effective as I was at night against all the other batters except Charles Edward. Every time he came up to bat, he got a hit. And I consider him a fun-loving individual. Because usually, when, when you're with him, you was gonna have some type of fun. Because that, that's, that's what he was about. And so Charles Edward decided that we wanted to build us a little fives, he said. <laughs> and so he had the matches and he got me a bucket of water. And he would strike the match and he'd burn a little bit. And then he'd say, okay, put the water on it. And I did it. And then he'd do that. And he'd set it a fire and I'd put the water on it. And then the water ran out. <laughs> and so at that point, the entire field was up in flames. And... The fire department was there, and the fire chief was there, and this woman across the street said, those little boys did it, though, right there. And so Charles Everett looked at the fire chief and said, no, nah, it was nothing. There was two other boys out here, but they set that fire. And so the two of us are standing there looking up at the fire chief, and he's pointing down to us, and he says, well, I want you to know one thing. Whenever you start a fire, it costs money. At that point, I was... Uh, quite afraid that I was going to get in trouble, but as it turned out, uh, Dorothy came out and looked at us, said we were bad kids, and that was the end of it. Charles Ever, my cousin, is coming to town. He's driving a truck, an 18 wheeler. He's coming to town. We weren't really speaking. The invitations had gone out for the wedding and everything, but we were over. It was done. I was trying to be cool and polite. And of course, he's crazy. And that, <laughs> Charles. And that, fool, and that fool got us to laugh. Oh. <laughs> we were on the floor. He was so funny. And uh, and we were just cracking up. We laughed all night. And so night. by the time he left, we the wedding was back on. <laughs> We've been married for 32 years. I used to tell him, I know where you live. I can still come and get you for this. But anyway, <laughs> but Charles is funny. He kept us in stitches. That was about. that was a good trip. We married today because Charles showed up. That's it. That's true. <laughs> so I guess that means I kind of... Yeah, you, yeah, you, you owe your existence to Charles Edward. <laughs> Our children are here because of Charles Edward. Yep, that's true. Oh, shit.